Hello there, it's me, Roland, and welcome to this week's Power BI tutorial. In this episode, we are going to focus on automation, a topic that I'm passionate about because I'm lazy. Allow me to introduce Power Automate. Why would I, a Power BI professional, an analyst, would even consider using Power Automate? Because it has the potential to save a lot of time time that I can spend on analyzing data rather than massaging it. And if you want to learn cool tricks like the one I'm about to show today, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I post weekly videos and tutorials about Power BI features, data visualization, and general best practices to follow as an analyst. So what is Power Automate, or Flow, as Microsoft used to call it? Power Automate is an automation tool that helps users to create automated processes using an easy to use graphical user interface, which means that the barrier of entry is low and users don't need to have any prior programming knowledge or experience to create fully automated processes. Additionally, there are predefined templates that you can use like the one we are going to start with. It's also part of the Microsoft Power Apps platform so it's heavily integrated with Power BI. With the recent updates, we can even use Power Automate as a visual element in a Power BI report. With that out of the way, let's have a quick look on the demo scenario that I have prepared for you today. Let's assume that we are a business analyst working at the company's headquarter. One of the reports that we are responsible for is a daily sales report based on the figures received from different branches. Each branch sends us their daily sales result in a standardized Excel format at the end of the day, like the one that you can see on the screen right now. We need to save all of those files to our network drive, refresh the data in Power BI Desktop, and then publish the updated report. As a final step, we need to let the sales managers know that the report is updated with the latest results. And all of this is so boring. And of course, time consuming, especially knowing that we can somehow automate the whole process. So today, I'm going to show you how to automate all of this. We need to create three different flows or automations. First of all, one where we save attachments from emails to a dedicated OneDrive folder. Secondly, confirming in a Microsoft Teams message which files are saved, so I can be 100% sure that all files are received. Thirdly, an automation that covers a Power BI dataset refresh, and as a part of this flow, a confirmation to the team in Microsoft Teams that the dataset update is now complete and they can use the daily sales report. And because we are going to use Power Automate, we can do all of this without writing a single line of code. It's so exciting! A quick intermission. In this video, I'm not going to focus on how to move from combining local Excel files from a folder to OneDrive, as I have another video planned for that. But if you cannot wait till then, make sure that your query starts with something like this. Also, if you use any other dimension tables in the report, like I use locations and products, you have to place those ones in a OneDrive folder as well to allow the refresh to run. Or, if you are a bit more advanced, you can set up a gateway. Back to our video. Let's head over to Power Automate from Power BI. We click on the Bento Box icon on the top left corner and select Power Automate. Right on the home screen, you can find templates to choose from. All of those are just a click away to start your automation process. Let's click on Create on the left hand side. As I mentioned, the first automation is going to be saving attachments to OneDrive. But instead of creating that flow from blank, I'm just going to search for a template. And you can see we have quite a few options listed here. We can even use non-Microsoft products in our automation, such as Gmail, Google Drive, and even Dropbox. To solve my problem today, I'm going to choose Office 365, Attachment Safe to OneDrive Business. 
On this page, Power Automate authenticates us, which means that it tries to connect our accounts in OneDrive and in Office 365. Green ticks mean we are good to go. And here comes the most powerful part. When a new email arrives to our inbox and certain conditions are met, the automation will save the attachment to a dedicated OneDrive folder. For this demo, I'm going to create a condition to filter by subject that contains daily cells. If the subject of an email contains that text, it should save the attachment to our daily sales report OneDrive folder. It's called saved attachment. If it doesn't, we don't have to do anything with that email, so just delete that side of the condition. And we are good to go. Before we go to the next automation, let's check that this one works. I'm going to send a test email from Bill's email account with sales data, and let's hope that the flow will save it. And now I received the email, so let's check OneDrive. Here it is, a new file is now saved. We can also check if an automation ran successfully within Power Automate under successful runs. Cool, the first step is done. We have now automated the save attachment process. Next up, I have to set up a flow that confirms to me, the owner of the whole reporting process, that new files are saved to OneDrive. We have already created a flow from a template, so let's create this one from a blank, automated cloud flow. I would like to show you that it is not that difficult and it's not scary at all. The flow name should be Files Saved Notification. This automation should be triggered based on a file creation in OneDrive, so I'm going to use that option. Select our dedicated folder and click on Next Step. I want to send the chat in Teams, so click on Teams Connector. We have a few options here, so I'm going to search for send. There you go, post a new message as the flow bot to a user. Recipient should be myself and the message is a combination of dynamic content and static text. I'm not going to test this one right now. Let's finish the whole process and I show you the full automation at the end. You might ask why I split the saving process and the notification part. It is possible that some users are a bit more skilled and they can be taught to upload files straight to OneDrive instead of sending an email. By splitting these two, I can be 100% sure that I get a notification about every single file. Additionally, I also wanted to demo that it's super easy to create an automated flow from blank. As always, these tutorials are more about sharing ideas and helping you to explore possibilities. But let's go back to Power Automate, we still have some more stuff to automate. Now that we have saved all daily sales files and confirmed it via Teams, we can trigger a Power BI dataset refresh from Power Automate. While I know that technically we can do the same within Power BI, I'm going to schedule a refresh here within Power Automate. This time I'm going to use Scheduled Cloudflow Automation. 
I know that all reports are sent by 5 p.m. on a given day, so if I set up my data set refresh to 6 p.m. every day, it should be fine. Let's name it Daily Sales Power BI Dataset Refresh. Add the new step and search for Power BI Connector. From the options, pick Refresh Dataset. After that, I just need to select the workspace and the dataset, and then Bob's your uncle. It's all done, right? Almost. We just need to let report users know that the dataset is updated, so the next morning when they log in, they can be sure that they are looking at the updated figures. So quickly set up another Teams post, but this time we are going to post to Teams channel. And now, let's see the whole automation running smoothly, triggered by a new daily sales file sent by Bill. As I mentioned before, this was just a quick demo on a solution that anyone can implement in their environment. And as you saw, it requires no prior experience with coding. All we need to do is click through a couple of options in Power Automate and we can fully automate the business process. This means that we can save some time with the boring stuff and spend more time on analyzing the data, which should be the ultimate goal for us analysts, spending less time on report creation and more time on finding those business critical insights. I'm still exploring options to further enhance my processes, or should I rather say, think about flows that I can automate. I can only suggest checking the available connectors in Power Automate, as you may find some interesting ones, and the vast majority of those connectors are already included in an E5 license, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments below if you have been using Power Automate or if you ever tried it. I still remember the first time I heard about it and honestly, I wasn't sure how can I utilize that, but after watching some demo videos, I knew that I'm going to love it. And I've been using it since then. Thanks for tuning in today. I really hope that I was able to show a cool trick and a useful business case with Power Automate and now you can replicate something similar in your life as well. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!